being that you guys have, you know, you're out here, you're getting placements. Can you talk about any times where you might have experienced like frustration or disappointment within your career and maybe how you combated that or any tips for somebody who is, you know, feeling a little frustrated? Um, I know, you know, would you you quit your job one day and decided that this was for you, but um, for somebody who might not have that opportunity right now and either one you can go first. As in, like, actual making music or just career stumbling blocks, maybe? I'm having to lip read. But I'm <laughs> I said either or, um, or both, just whichever you have tips for. Yeah, I think, first of all, um, the music itself, because that the rest sorts itself out. Like, as I said about the tink placement, I guess that was lucky, but the rest kind of does sort itself out. Um, just, yeah, don't be in the way of yourself. Like, if you're making music and it's not working one day, you don't have to make a beat that day. In fact, if anything, you might just frustrate yourself and you might not want to make beats for the next two days. So just go do something else, like watch a movie or just do something completely different. Um, and then, then you could come back and you, you come up with a fresh perspective um, as for like the music industry is built on promises and and that's just the way it is and I think I understand that in my personal life a promise is just a promise it's, it's not necessarily um, it's, it's not set in stone just because someone says I'm going to sign you like you get DMs every single day saying yeah I want to buy this beat you know, I've got a million dollar budget and it's like all right cool and then if that doesn't come to fruition, then that's also fine because that's just how human beings are. So if someone promises something to you or you feel like you deserve more here and there, then that's that's fine because that's just the nature of human beings and don't take anything personally. Just keep going. Yep. Um, for those of you who've been here for a minute, you know we talked about that too. Don't get excited until the ink is dry. <laughs> thing can change um what about you too fresh you already took the words on my mouth man <laughs> <laughs> i was just about to say that like nothing is promised in this industry man like you can do so much and get placements you can even get placements and still not reap the benefits of it because you know just it's all based on your relationship with them and stuff like they just want work for you one time and then just move on like it's all about building that relationship to keep going and and build that longevity in your career but uh, on top of that but just and for your for your own internal self just uh you know just uh what else was I? I actually have notes so uh, <laughs> i love that please reference I that have notes. Uh, I, was, I mean our spirits are a bunch of highs, highs and lows but i think the main thing is just not comparing yourself to idols or your peers because you could look at your idols and be like man he did this at 26 so he did this at 26 i'm giving like I, i'm almost that age like that could happen to me and then then you, it gets there and, and it doesn't happen then you all in your mind like damn why didn't this happen it happened for him or your peers that you grew up with your producers producer friends and they getting more shine than you actually getting these album placements or whatever and then you down yourself but you can't let that happen to you like everybody has their own path everybody you know, has their own, you know, timing to really, to really blossom in this industry. And if you just really focus on yourself, then that's all that really matters. Like nothing else matters. Like, but you, 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 you tell your own story and you show your own story to the world. So that's pretty much it. Just get out, get out your own head pretty much. Facts. You said nothing but facts. I'm so glad you looked at your notes because I wouldn't want you to miss that one. Um, it's actually a perfect segue because my next question was going to be